everyone, my name is Alexis. Welcome to Ate Libera. Today we are going to be painting a Chanel inspired artwork. We have our perfume, a lipstick, and some pearls going on. So what you want to start off by is doing the simple drawing shapes. I first went in with the pencil very lightly just to see where I'm going to be placing everything. It's super important to place all of your main objects right in the middle pretty big so that you don't need too much space on the top or the bottom of the canvas now i'm going in with the pearls i'm doing a nice light gray throughout the whole thing just so they have this shadow to them this is going to really help to be able to see those pearls really nicely So now I'm going to the top of the perfume and I'm adding some shadows. So these shadows, if you notice, they're so light. They're these light grays. They're a little bit on the tips and then just a little bit in the center. The top of that, you want to keep it as light as possible because on the top, the light is showing the lightest and then it starts getting a little bit more shadow on the sides and in the middle. Once I do some of those shadowing, I want to leave it alone for a little bit just to let it dry. So I didn't do a lot of work on it because it's so important that you move around your canvas as you're painting. You don't want to stay in one place for too long because then it can get overwhelming. And also you got to leave some time for your paint to dry. So now I'm coming in with some very hot fluorescent pink. But I'm adding a little bit of light pink and a little bit of white to it. And to my lipstick, I am adding a more of a red and a pink, just so they have a little bit of contrast between the two. I'm going in with some black. So you want to add black to all of the bottom half of your lipstick and its little top part that you put on. And if you notice on the side there, I'm leaving just a little bit white showing through. These are going to be the highlights. They're so important, but you don't want to paint them in white because eventually we do got to paint them in white. Just leave, them, leave the black alone for a little bit so it can dry. Now I'm going on to the gold area. So here, instead of using the pink gold, you want to use yellows and light browns and whites to give the illusion of gold. So you never want to paint gold gold. You use these different tones. I even mix a little bit of black with the brown for shadow. So wherever you want a very dark shadow, you're going to get a little bit of black, barely any, and you're going to mix it with that brown. And my brown, if you notice, it's a very light brown. It's not a dark brown. That color works so well with yellow. Those two colors always is what I use when I paint in gold. Now I'm coming into the pearls and I'm adding a little bit more love into those pearls, adding some white, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of that peach color because think about pearls. There's all these different tones of pearls. So I really wanted some that were very colorful, especially because our background is gonna be black and white. So I didn't want the pearls to be too white. I wanted them to have this like warm feeling to them. So I'm coming in the middle of the pearl. In the middle of the pearl, you want to add a little bit of yellow and a light pink. And then at the very top of the pearl for the highlight, it's going to be just pure white. At times, I'm going to come back and add a little bit of gray back to the bottom of the pearl, but it's not going to be a strong gray. It's going to be a very light gray so that it also has a shadow at the bottom. Now I'm coming back and adding a little bit of highlights to my lipstick. Now I'm adding in that white, a little bit of white onto the top of the, onto the very top of the lipstick, just so I can have a little highlight there. So it doesn't have to be completely white. Actually, I made it a little bit gray. 
and as you notice now I'm going back over my colors because acrylics you always need to add more than one layer so I always like to just leave the layer alone let it dry and then I come back and do some touch-ups this makes such a difference to the painting so coming back and forth moving around your canvas is what I just love to do Now I'm coming in with just a little bit of light gray and I'm adding some details around the perfume. So if you notice now the perfume is looking a little bit more 3D just because I added some lines onto the sides and onto the bottom, bringing it up. I'm also coming back to the very top of that, that little handle of the perfume and I'm adding even a little bit more shadows painting the very top white so it gets really really white this is where the label is going to be so i'm painting that in all black Now I'm gonna start adding my stripes. So I'm doing those an inch apart. So just one inch apart, you're gonna do all of those little stripes. I use the ruler just so it's super precise and I don't overwork myself trying to make it perfect when the ruler is the tool to do that for. I also am looking, about, looking at where I'm gonna put black and white and which one I'm gonna use first. So I use the white stripe first because at the very bottom of the lipstick, I don't want the lipstick to be sitting on a black stripe. I want it to sit on a white stripe so that it stands out really beautifully. So you're gonna see that in just a moment when I start adding my black, it's gonna make my lipstick, the bottom half of my lipstick really stand out because it's sitting on a white stripe. So that means the very first one is gonna be white, the second one is gonna be black, and the pattern is gonna go on from there. Okay, so now you can see how the bottom of that lipstick is sitting on that white stripe so it makes it look very nice and it makes it stand out. 
So now I'm coming back to my pearls and adding just a little bit more love to those pearls because they got covered up a little bit with that white. So now I'm adding just like a little bit more yellows. In between the pearls, I'm gonna add a little small lines of gold. And this is just to connect them. The gold is not gonna show in all of them because think about realistically when you're painting, you wanna leave some things showing and some things not showing. So if you want it to look a little bit more fun, just add some lines in between. Now I'm coming back and just doing a little touch-ups wherever I feel like it will bring the painting out more. And now it's for the tricky part, adding those letters. So lettering can be so tricky. You want a really small brush while you're doing this step, but it's really nice. You can even change the letters and you don't have to write Coco Chanel. You can put your name, that'd be cool. But now I'm just adding all kinds of fun details. The last steps, just making it beautiful. I also am gonna add just a little bit of shadow under my pearls so it looks like they're sitting on a table. And I'm just using a really light gray. So I'm barely adding a little bit of that light gray for the shadows on the bottom of them. just signing my painting we are all done with this beautiful artwork here please don't forget to like and subscribe this painting is for sale so if you're interested in buying this painting dm me at arte rivera thank you so much again have a great day and god bless you stay painting